In this video, we look at Voronoi diagrams, which is part of the AI course, SL and HL, under Topic 3, Geometry and Trigonometry. Now, there are five key concepts that I want to go through, but I'm going to start with some terminology here. So from here on in, I'm going to use these words that I'm about to introduce, and I recommend that you do also. Okay, in a Voronoi diagram, which is this diagram that you can see here, there are coordinates, so coordinates A, B, C, and D, and we would call them coordinates when we're talking about coordinate geometry. However, when we're talking about Voronoi diagrams, we actually call these sites. Now, the sites are separated by these lines here, and we call these lines edges. The edges create um, some regions, so the, for example, this top left region here, and then the top right region here, and we call these, we either call them regions, or some textbooks call them cells. So two words here for that, for that, for this particular space which is created by the edges. Now finally, where the edges intersect, so for example, P and Q, we call these intersections. So four new words here, um, and this is the terminology when talking about a Voronoi diagram. So in this example diagram here, we have four sites, we have four regions, we have a series of edges, and we have two intersections. Okay, let's now talk about what are Voronoi diagrams. Now, a Voronoi diagram is kind of like a map. So picture it like a map of an area, and you're looking to maybe go in a certain direction. Now the map here is separated by these edges, and what's important about this, and it's kind of the whole purpose of a Voronoi diagram, is that any particular location within a region, let's focus here on the region containing site C, any location within that region, so it could be a location here, it could be a location here, it could be a location here, or anywhere within this region, any of these locations are closest to site C. So for example, this particular Voronoi diagram, and I took out of the um, question bank section, shows the location of four pizza shops. Pizza shop A, B, C, and D. Now if you're hungry one day, and you're in the city, and you want to find the, find the closest pizza shop, you want to know, well, which one is closest to me? Well, if you happen to have a Voronoi diagram and you realize that you were, say, in this location here, you could say, well, I am within the region containing site D, so therefore I am closest to site D or the pizza shop located at site D. If you happen to be standing on an edge, so for example, right here, you're actually equally close to the pizza shop located at site A or site D. So that's what a Voronoi diagram is. The whole point is which region are we in or which region is a location in, and that can tell you the site that you are closest to. Okay, let's now talk about key concept three, how a Voronoi diagram is constructed. They're constructed by a series of perpendicular bisectors. So for example, if I look at regions, the region containing site D and the region containing site C, it's separated by this vertical edge here, this line here. Now this line here happens to be the perpendicular bisector between coordinate D and coordinate C. Now in this video, I won't go through how to actually find the equation of this line. There is a key concept video in topic two, titled Perpendicular Bisectors, which goes through exactly that concept. But the important point here is, all Voronoi diagrams are, are just a series of perpendicular bisectors. So for example, this horizontal line here is the perpendicular bisector between coordinate A and coordinate D. Now I'm using the word coordinate there, not site, because when we go to create this perpendicular bisector, we need to identify the coordinates A and D. This line here is it bisects it, so it's halfway between A and D, and it's also perpendicular to the line segment that if we were to, if we were to create a line between coordinate A and D, this perpendicular bisector would sit perpendicular to that line segment. It would create a right angle here. But for more information about perpendicular bisectors, I recommend going and watching that key concept video over in topic two.
But just to recap, Voronoi diagrams are just a whole series of perpendicular bisectors. That's all they are. Now, it obviously does take a long time to construct one. In an IAB exam, you won't be expected to actually make one, a, a full Voronoi diagram, because that would just take too long. Uh, a typical exam question might say, look, there's one missing edge in, in a particular Voronoi diagram. Go ahead and find the equation of the line that will complete that Voronoi diagram. That's what a sort of a, a medium level Voronoi diagram IB exam question will ask. An easier one might just say, um, if I'm located at coordinate, so let's say six and four, which site am I closest to? So that's a pretty simple question there. Okay, let's now move on to key concept four here, this concept called nearest neighbor interpolation. And let's go back to this Voronoi diagram here, which I mentioned shows the location of four pizza shops, A, B, C, and D. Now let's pretend that you want to open a new pizza restaurant and it is located at coordinates six and five. So this location here. Now we've already identified that because it is within the region containing site B, it is closest to the pizza restaurant at B. Now what if you were to try to determine, well, how many pizzas a week do I think my restaurant will, will be able to sell? You wanna to try to do some budgeting and try to, try to determine whether your pizza shop will be profitable. And you're trying to estimate, well, how many pizzas will my shop sell? Well, using this concept nearest neighbor interpolation, we can actually estimate the average number of pizzas sold, say, per, uh, per week by actually going to the closest site, so pizza restaurant B, and just using the average of pizza shop B. That's as simple as it is. So for example, this table here given in the uh, question from the question bank, it says that the pizza shop located at site B sold one, uh, an average of 1,752 pizzas per week. So therefore, using nearest neighbor interpolation, we can estimate that the new pizza shop located here, because it's closest to B, so it's, it's, its nearest neighbor is B, we can say, we, well, we're gonna estimate that it will also sell 1,752, sorry, yeah, 1,752 pizzas per week. Okay, let's now talk about the final key concept. This is called the largest empty circle problem, and it's otherwise known as the toxic waste dump problem. Now, what it is, the, the whole sort of point about topic five, I'll just firstly talk about the largest empty circle, and then I'll give it some context when I'm talking about a toxic waste dump. The question that I pose to you is, what is the largest possible circle that I could draw on this Voronoi diagram, and I'll use a different color, I'll use blue. What is the largest possible circle that I could draw on this diagram that does not contain a site within it? So for example, this small one here, that's pretty good, that doesn't contain a site within it. What about if I went a little bit bigger? Well, that circle that I just drew there now contains site C. Okay, so what about if I, if I drew a big one, say here, with a center roughly about here, that's a pretty big circle and it doesn't contain sites A, B, C, and D. It can contain an intersection, I'm just, it, we just can't let it contain a site. Now, you may be thinking, okay, what's the point of this? And this comes into, there's usually sort of two types of questions here. The first is, where could we position a toxic waste dump which is the furthest away from any of the sites, which is usually like a town or a, or a cluster of houses. Now, of course, you want a toxic waste dump quite a long way away from that. So you want to be able to position a toxic waste dump, which will be at the center of this circle that is a long way away from any of the sites. So that's one type of largest empty circle problem. The other is actually like this example here would be, where can I position a new pizza restaurant such that it is as far away from any other restaurant as possible. Now the answer to this question is, this largest empty circle, it will all, the center of this circle will always occur at one of the intersections. And then you need to determine which intersection should it sit at. And the way that you do that is to actually test how far is the intersection from its nearest neighbor. But I won't go into all the details in this video because that'll take a bit too long. There are quite a few of these questions located in the question bank. But the key point here, the, large, the center of the largest empty circle will always occur at one of the intersections.
Okay, that's a quick overview into Voronoi diagrams. I recommend practicing some of these questions. They're actually quite uh, enjoyable questions to go through. They're always very contextual. Uh, they're, they're usually quite interesting questions. And yes, I recommend practicing some of these questions over in the question bank section.